are in a Tesla Model S, which means that there's a 90% chance that this video is about either how fast this accelerates or autopilot. Autopilot. <laughs> and there's a lot of autopilot videos on, uh, on YouTube. Um, some of them better than others. Some of them do a really good job of explaining what autopilot is and uh, what, it, uh, what it can do for you. Some of them trying to show their dog drive, I suppose. Um, this video isn't going to be about the abuse of the system or even really about the, the use of the system, really. There's plenty of videos for doing that. This video is actually about the real-life ramifications of autopilot. This series is going to cover that aspect of uh, technological advancements, emerging technology that is coming out in the next year or so fully ready. Uh, the problem is is that people may not understand the technology, understand how it's going to be used, or worse, that they're short-sighted, they're focused on what the technology can do for them right now without looking at how those uh, social aspects of the technology then have far-reaching ramifications. Nobody would have thought uh, that the, the smartphone coming out would have uh, led to led socially to what uh, what's gone on now. So autopilot with uh, autopilot, I, I basically think of it as the 21st century version of driving with your knees. Uh, anybody who grew up in the uh, 60s, 70s, 80s. Uh, kind of grasp that reference. Autopilot's designed to relieve fatigue over a long drive, but th there's a lot more to it than that. Um, I have a short video clip of an accident that I recorded while I was on autopilot of a vehicle that was not autopilot enabled. And it drives home pretty clearly why autopilot was designed and what it was designed to do. Now that's just autopilot. Autonomous driving takes that even the next step further. It allows you basically to remain on autopilot for longer. Autopilot as it exists now is an aid for you to be able to be more situationally aware. I'm able to look in my rearview mirrors far longer than I would have without autopilot. I'm able to really get a good look at the people that are driving past and, and how with it they might be. I, for a long time now, I've been able to see that you've got a car coming up behind me, so I'll go ahead and get out of the way of him way ahead of time. All good. The car senses the truck in front of me, slows down, keeps our spacing the, the distance that I've set it, for freeway speeds. All of this uh, allows, uh, and I guess he's hanging back, so it'll be all right. Um, all this allows for a much more relaxed driving experience. Now you've all seen some people in uh, stop and go traffic, they've become a bit too relaxed. But well, the funny thing is, is that even though they're that relaxed, is it really any more dangerous than if they had fallen asleep at the wheel? And the answer to that is clearly no. And I'll show you that on the video. Um, the, uh, the video shows a pretty typical instance of where autopilot would be immensely beneficial. So let's go ahead and uh, roll the video. This will be a bit of an experiment for me too. I'm new to editing. Uh, we're doing some of these short videos to try out some of the gear, get some of the lighting right, and kind of cut our chops with doing some of the initial editing before we send it over to our uh, group to be finally assembled. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and talk you through what you're seeing on the video, and then I'll edit the, uh, edit the video in here. So, I just finished charging at Harris Ranch. 
on my way on a, a business trip from uh, the Sacramento area to Tucson, Arizona. And I'd just gotten back on the road and I noticed a small white car coming up behind me. Pretty good, pretty good rate. And so, initiate the turn signal, change lanes. And again, autopilot at the time was relatively new. Uh, I was still really having a giggle about the fact that you could just kind of watch somebody as they go by. Creepy. <laughs> Creepy. <laughs> and we'll see more of that. I'm sure when when the, uh, when the cars become fully autonomous, you'll just generally you know, have everybody in a car just kind of looking at each other. I don't know. Maybe that'll lead to something fun socially. I don't know. What it'll probably lead to is uh, uh, tinted windows. But uh, as he came up, I was able to look over my shoulder, get a real good look at him as he's coming by. Everything's cool. I'm watching him, as you'll see in the video here. He takes a drink of coffee. Uh, takes a drink of coffee, and then he comes by me. Everything's fine. Well, he doesn't zip by me at the same speed that he did when he was passing. Well, it's all right, that happens. Instead, he matched my speed a little bit further in front of me. Again, you can see that in the video. And then things are not so fine. He starts to weave a little bit. I come off of autopilot to give him a little more room. And then he comes over to the right. And, oh, off into the weeds. Oh, and there he goes. They have every quarter mile or so, they have these piles of debris that they've collected and, uh, uh, and these things are piled eight, nine feet high. Oh, into one of those he goes up, as you saw in the video, pirouettes down. Oh my God. And so uh, I pulled over and uh, kind of preparing myself for the worst, I saw the car kind of do a little barrel roll there over a, uh, over a fence line. And so I'm half expecting to get to that car and see him with a fence post through his spleen or something. <clears throat> but in a testament to uh, how well engineered the safety systems of these cars are, even after that horrendous wreck that you just saw, he was relatively unscathed. I couldn't believe it. I looked. I looked over, and the, the, the entire dashboard was uh, torn free from the car. All obviously, all the air curtains and the airbags had all uh, uh, had all deployed. And uh, the guys in there, kind of stunned as you would think, and uh, he's trying to tell us he's fine, and he's trying to trying to climb out. And so we you know, we did our best to try and calm him down. And, get him out of the vehicle and uh, initially I was surprised because I, I had pretty much expected to see him drunk. Wasn't acting drunk, it was all mostly good. He was obviously you know, shook up because of the wreck. So we helped him out because he was insistent and uh, um, uh, got him uh, set on a lawn chair that he'd had with him in the back of the car was packed with stuff that all flew out creating this cute little debris field. We were able to sit him down on a chair and police show up and because of autopilot uh, I thought it would be an interesting thing. I, I told the officer please, you know, I got a uh, video of the accident. Please keep in touch with me and let me know what happens with this because I'd be uh, interested to find out what the cause was. Well, he uh, contacted me a couple of weeks later and said, no, there was no um, uh, no drugs in his system, no alcohol. What the hell? What the hell happened? <clears throat> so uh, I don't know whether or not it was some kind of a medical episode that the gentleman had or what. But the one thing that is clear is that um, if he had been on autopilot, 
that accident wouldn't have happened. Miles of well-marked straight road, that car would have just gone on merry as you please, allowed him to have his episode, allowed him to recover, and hopefully pull over to try and alleviate the situation, whether that's meds or sleep, if he had actually fallen asleep, sometimes people fall asleep quickly, I don't know it, how far he'd driven before that, uh, before that time. So, um, I found that interesting. Um, I think that we need to start looking at autopilot and autonomous driving realistically. Uh, for the most part, we suck at driving, and that's, I think, one of the things that these autonomous systems are, are going to show us pretty clearly. Uh, it fills in the gaps in our lapses in attention or in our insistence in driving, maybe when we're too tired. So let this video go uh, and uh, end there. And uh, thank you for watching. Uh, I hope this series is something that interests you. Uh, and uh, please remember to like and subscribe. And there'll be many more. Thank you for watching.